आरम तरीन शाहजार आलम एंड सोबिया अहमद Have you seen my message on the on the chat box? No, sir. I joined yes, just now. So please yes. understand that I am I have been repeating this for so many classes. You are not, uh, you know, there to write attendance the moment you are entering the class. Only write your attendance when it is asked to do so. Sure, sir. Okay, sir. फैजान खान मोहम्मद फैजान खान मिस्टर मोहम्मद फैजान खान यू आर यू आर यू देयर यस सर इट हैज बीन रिपीटेडली आस्क नॉट टू राइट अटेंडेंस अनलेस आस्क बाय द टीचर व्हाई आर यू राइटिंग अटेंडेंस सॉरी सर आई डोंट नो that has been repeatedly asked for the three or four classes so please understand nobody is going to nobody is allowed to write attendance unless asif sir or i will ask for it okay sir i'm waiting asif sir for to join so he will be joining in a couple of minutes रजत वाशने यस सर आप तो कई क्लासेस में हैं पिछली क्लासेस में भी हैं आप लोगों से मना कर रखा है अटेंडेंस नहीं लिखेंगे आप अनलेस इट इज आस्क फॉर एंड व्हाई यू आर राइटिंग अटेंडेंस सॉरी सर आई बिलीव यू नो दैट राइट यस सर सलाम सर हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल यस सर सलाम यू आर ऑडिबल सर वाले गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स 
so I'm so sorry for joining late. Uh, so students, uh, as you know that yesterday uh, I have started my discussion on capacity planning, which is an important decision area in operations management. And we have discussed at length the importance of capacity and why why is it so that capacity is so critical from operations point of view right uh, just have a quick recap of what i have discussed in my previous class on capacity planning uh, initially i discussed the idea of capacity that what capacity stands for what is the basic definition of capacity second i would like to connect that capacity is in line with the demand is in line with the demand so uh, so sorry <clears throat> so uh, I, I try to connect capacity with demand that whenever we plan the capacity actually we have to think about the demand and that is the reason that demand forecasting is already covered in detail in unit number one so that we know that demand forecast or the estimation of the accurate demand is one of the prerequisite of capacity planning now when we talk about capacity planning i already discussed this point with you that time plays a critical role and based on the time horizon capacity planning can be divided in three categories short range intermediate and long term planning this is, uh, you know, we have already uh, discussed. And then uh, the initial part of the discussion start by making you aware of the terminology used in capacity planning. And to start there with that terminology, with the language of capacity, I have discussed with you that primarily there are two types of capacity that we think of, think of right? Uh, we have effective and we have design. And then based on effective and design, we have two types of parameter for measuring the performance. The parameters are utility, utilization, at time we call it as, and the efficiency. The numerical formula, the method, and one example of a bakery I have already discussed with you in my previous class, which I believe that makes you understand the basic calculation of utilization and efficiency, which is related to capacity. Let me start with the same, that these are the two important parameters for measuring the performance of capacity plan. If you want to measure the performance, you have to calculate the utilization and you have to calculate the efficiency. With this note, I would like to continue my discussion by use by using my PowerPoint slide. Just give me one minute. I'm opening my PowerPoint slide. So, uh, is my slide visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, uh, the, the objective of the discussion is that why is it so that capacity is included in the curriculum of operations management? Why do we inculcate the knowledge of capacity as a student of operation management, as a student of management? The reason is very clear that capacity or the capacity planning is in direct relationship with the overall plan or overall strategy of the organization. And when we talk about, if you recall, the broad areas of operations management, we first lecture that there are broad areas of operations management, like supply chain management, like uh, uh, forecasting, like, sub, uh, like you know, uh, quality management, all these areas which are the broad areas of operation management are directly or indirectly linked with capacity plan. 
so capacity and the estimation of the capacity and the plan of the capacity is one of the important part of the discussion of operations because if you are working as an operations manager you should know properly how to manage your capacity and your capacity plan should be properly adjusted in the overall organizational strategy that is in the mission and the vision of the organization you should have that plan so jo capacity ka plan banate hain jo strategy aap capacity ki banate hain wo organization ke mission vision aur overall strategy mein jhalakti hai highlight hoti hai so it's a very critical area uh, I, i don't know how many of you are aware of uh, airline sector aviation sector i would call it as airlines in india these days there are a lot of talk there are a lot of discussion going around as far as because indian aviation sector is at loss and due to this reason major giant major companies in aviation they are on the verge of either you know they are not working profitably or they are working on the verge of closure we have the example of kingfisher and all airlines they shut down their operation one of the core reason is that they are unable to plan their capacity properly because of the fluctuating demand and that is one of the important reason that aviation sector in the country like india is hit it hard by any development elsewhere in the world so even in in the current scenario of covid where the travel there are a lot of restrictions on travel uh, the worst hit area is the aviation because of unfluctuated demand or fluctuated demand rather and that makes the things entirely difficult difficult for the organization for the aviation sector to plan their capacity जहाँ आप पूरा एक प्लान फुल करके फ्लाई किया करते थे जिसकी कैपेसिटी 300 और 300 प्लस हुआ करती थी आज वो प्लेन हाफ जाता है तो इफ इफ अ प्लेन आ बोइंग राइट हैविंग ए कैपेसिटी टू अकोमोडेट 375 पैसेंजर्स नाउ आउट ऑफ दैट 375 करेंटली दे आर ऑफ दे आर गेटिंग ओनली हाफ ऑफ देम सो योर योर ओवरऑल प्लानिंग ऑफ द कैपेसिटी यू नो is very very important for the operationalization this is the starting note which i would like to tell you before i move ahead and discuss more about that just to make you understand why capacity discussion is so important uh my dear students you know right from the start we are talking about that uh, that is a reason that forecast or accurate estimation is discussed at length reason is that if you accurately forecast that will act as a major input to plan your capacity agar aapka forecast aur estimate aapka demand ka accurate hai to fir aapki capacity planning ke chances ye hai ki it could be very much accurate and it would be the chances are the errors are very less so selection of the right forecasting model for demand is a prerequisite for a proper plan of the capacity right then at the same time i will come to this point later on we talk about the fluctuation humne abhi aapko bataya tha ki there are ups and down we call them as fluctuation sometime they are also technically call it as increments and these increments are uneven some are even and most of the time these increments are uneven these unevenness may be due to ups and down in the sales volume now the biggest challenge for the organization is that when you talk about the capacity what is the optimum size of operation aap kaise decide karoge ki aapko kitna banana hai kitni capacity aapki honi chahiye i have last time i have given you giving you the example of maruti udyog limited they forecast their demand and accordingly they ask their factories to manufacture or to assemble the cars now these demand may be at time fluctuating in nature and due to this reason the decision about the optimum operating size that is the best size of capacity is you know again it's a not a easy decision it's a difficult decision so capacity and it, and your decision of operate oper, uh, optimal size of the capacity is a very very critical area in operations management that needs to be handled properly now uh 
I'm not uh, covering. Now, this this is another very important thing we have um, uh, uh, talking about. Uh, Can you refer to this important slide which I'm showing you? Where I am showing you three major scenarios of demand and capacity. This slide is showing you this. What I want to discuss with this slide is that I am talking right from the start that demand and capacity are interrelated to each other. And there are three broad you know, uh, uh, scenario of demand and capacity. And all these three scenarios are challenging. The first two are very important. Number one, there is a possibility that demand exceeds capacity. कभी कभी ऐसा होता है कि कोई ऐसा product होता है जिसकी demand एकदम increase कर जाती है और जो अभी current capacity थी वो कम रहती है. अभी आपके सामने recent example है the demand of the specific type of medicine. आपने देखा था कि जब COVID का peak चल रहा था so suddenly there is an upsurge in the demand of antiviral uh, you know, drugs, anti antibiotics, right? So these antibiotics or antiviral drugs are in a, are in a huge demand at that point of time. That was an example where the demand exceeds capacity. So suddenly what happened that the pharmaceutical company, those who are the key manufacturers of the antibiotics and the antiviral, they uh, multiply their capacity. They, they increase the, their production capacity. They make some arrangement and due to this reason, they increase their demand, their, their capacity. So at time what happened that you should get ready that the demand exceed capacity. There are different strategies of doing so. case to case, for example, Pfizer, for example, Sun Pharma, for example, Cipla. Kaise in, in companies ne apni capacities ko increase kiya hoga to meet the demand of antiviral and antibiotics in the at the peak of the COVID. So Jabab is good detail may in study study karenge, you will see that they have come out with a lot of strategies. Although these strategies are short term or intermediate capacity plan, but they try to meet it out because there is a there is an increase in the demand. This scenario is scenario number one. But scenario number two is more severe. And what is that scenario number two? There is a possibility that the capacity exceeds demand. This is very, very difficult situation for the organization. Your first situation thi, wo challenging. Thi. Lekin the second situation is more challenging hoti hai aur loss making. Hoti hai. And what is that? There is a possibility when the capacity exceeds demand. Now, can you imagine, can you visualize the condition under which capacity exceeds demand? Aisa kab ho sakta hai? When capacity exceeds demand? Can you have any example in your mind where uh, the, the, the company has uh, products are ready, but there is a decrease in the demand or there is some reason due to which they, uh, they, uh, uh, the, the demand decline. Any specific reason in your mind or any example in your mind which can fit this situation? Am I audible to you? Yes, sir. So when a competitive product launch in a market in low prices. Uh, Sana, you are right. Good example. A competitive product or a substitute product is available in the market at a cheaper price. Definitely. Any example in your mind? Abhi aapne, patani aapne aapne suna tha, in suna tha. Kuch companies need two wheelers or two wheeler bike or two wheeler two, uh, two, ye jo scooters hote hain. Is me 40 50 percent cost cut karke price cut karke market me scheme nikaliti that you can take it out. Reason kya tha? Reason kya tha? There is a change in the Indian standard, yes, exactly. There is a change in the Indian standard, RF4, right? So, government has suddenly pollution control can cut away technology we standards so change karke up hua kya ke in companies ke pass pehle se. They have their uh, the two wheelers which are already there in the in the in their, their factory or in their dealership. Now they have to somehow you know sell, sell out this in the market. So the only way to do it is that you have to cut down your price. Even you have to cut down their price up to the level of 40% or 
तो ये जो एक्टिवा है और आपने देखा होगा बहुत सारे टू व्हीलर्स थे बहुत स्कीम्स कंपनीज ने रन की थी वेर यू कैन बाय द स्कूटर और अट और अ बाइक एट अ वेरी मच और एट अ रिड्यूस प्राइस नाउ दैट इज नॉट अ वेरी प्रॉफिटेबल सिचुएशन फॉर द कंपनी दैट इज अ लॉस मेकिंग सिचुएशन फॉर द कंपनी जो जो बाइक आपने पहले से प्लान कर रही थी कि दे यू विल सोल्ड इट आउट एट नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज अब वो आप सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड में सेल आउट कर रहे हैं सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड में सेल आउट कर रहे हैं दैट इज नॉट प्रॉफिटेबल लेकिन करना पड़ा बिकॉज ऑफ द रीजन दैट यू हैव एक्सेस प्रोडक्ट विच आर अवेलेबल सो कैपेसिटी यू हैव मोर एंड द डिमांड सम हाउ इज डिक्लाइन तो ये होता है कॉम्पिटिटर प्रोडक्ट का बहुत होता है टेक्नोलॉजी में चेंजेस में बहुत होता है ऐसा टेक्नोलॉजी चेंज बहुत होती है सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स विच आर ऑलरेडी देयर सो कैपेसिटी यू नो एक्सीड्स डिमांड वन एंड थर्ड सिनेरियो इज दैट थर्ड सिनेरियो इज अ मिक्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट एंड द सेकेंड थर्ड सिनेरियो इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड वॉट डज दिस मीन इन द इंटायर टाइम्स होराइजन समटाइम द डिमांड एक्सीड द कैपेसिटी एंड समटाइम कैपेसिटी एक्सीड्स डिमांड सो ये जो आगे पीछे का ट्रेंड होता है कि एक पीरियड में ऊपर नीचे होता रहता है देर आर अप्स एंड डाउन एंड यू सी द ग्राफ देर आर पीक्स एंड लोस देर आर अब दो इंक्रीमेंटल इंक्रीज जो है वो कभी तो ज्यादा है और कभी कम है कभी ज्यादा कभी कम है दैट मेक्स दर्ड सिचुएशन विच इज अगेन अ वेरी ट्रिकी सिचुएशन एंड इट इज क्वाइट नेचुरल ऑल्सो दिस इज अचुरल सिनेर तो एडजस्टिंग वी कॉल दम ए सीजनल डिमांड सो सीजनल अप्स एंड डाउन कैन नॉट बी ओवर रूल्ड एंड द पॉइंट इज दैट द द ओनली वे टू कम आउट इज दैट यू हैव अ फ्लेक्सिबल मैनुफैक्चरिंग सिस्टम यू हैव अ फ्लेक्सिबल ऑपरेशनल सिस्टम सो द पॉइंट हेयर इज दैट द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन योर प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन योर डिलीवरी सिस्टम इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट स्ट्रैटेजी विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज टू मेक आपने कोई एग्जाम्पल आप मुझे सीजनल डिमांड की दे सकते हैं कैन यू गिव मी एनी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सीजनल अप्स एंड डाउन करंट सिनेरियो में बहुत एयर कंडीशनर कूलर्स एयर एयर प्योरीफायर सर हाँ हाँ वो होता है एयर प्योरीफायर भी होता है सही कह रहे हैं और कोई बहुत लेटेस्ट एग्जाम्पल आप बताइए हॉस्पिटैलिटी 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 मीन्स हॉस्पिटल्स एंड होटल्स तो हॉस्पिटल्स की अगर आप बात करें तो आप देखते हैं द कंट्री लाइक डेवलपिंग कंट्री लाइक इंडिया और इंडिया में ही नहीं इन ऑल द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज इफ यू सी द रिपोर्ट हेल्थ रिपोर्ट ऑफ यू एस इफ यू सी दिल्थ रिपोर्ट ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया इफ यू सी दिल्थ रिपोर्ट ऑफ कैनेडा एंड अदर डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज यू नो दे आर डूइंग लॉर्ड ऑफ ब्रेन स्टॉमिंग ऑन हाउ टू एडजस्ट दी सीजनल वेरिएशन इन देयर कैपेसिटी आर वन फिफ्टी बेड हॉस्पिटल एट टाइम द बेड्स आर फुली वेकेंट and at time they are fully occupied even they have to make some extra arrangement for the bed so these seasonal changes is, is are very you know difficult to meet indian you know uh, uh, government ho- hospitals especially they are you know suffering a lot i i hope that healthcare students are also here in this class mha students somebody from mha yes sir Mm. so yes, uh, nazreen and you all you know this thing that mha healthcare industry this is a very important area aap you are, that's a very good area for you to work that especially in p- primary health centers and government hospitals the issue of seasonal fluctuations in the demand and how to meet it with the capacity planning is a big issue and it is not only a matter of bed it is also a matter of various equipment medicines and other you know uh, things which are required for the treatment of patients the worst hit area in pandemic is hospitality hotels and tourism majority of the ho- hotel in the uh, tourist destination hill stations are on the verge of closure so they are uh, you know at time they are facing this type of problem and we have also seen the scenario jahan par hum we reach to the destination and we found no hotel available तो हम लोगों ने ऐसा भी आ, वक्त देखा है कि हम हिल स्टेशन पहुंचे हैं और हिल स्टेशन पे हमने होटल की तलाश करी और हमें होटल नहीं मिला और वापस आ गए तो दैट वाज आल्सो अ सिनेरियो एंड टुडे देर आर मेनी होटल्स एंड हॉस्पिटल विच आर ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ क्लोजर तो दैट यू नो दैट चेंज इन द डिमांड एंड द लेस फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन देयर कैपेसिटी इज अग बिग इशू फॉर ऑपरेशन मैनेजमेंट 
so if you are working then operations manager in a hospital or if you are working as an operations manager in a multi cuisine or continental hotel the issue is there the issue is there so this is uh, the point where uh, you need to work on we will discuss with you in the form of case studies uh, there was a time when aviation as i already given you they have passes through the phase of how to manage the capacity currently hospitality and hos hospitals and hotel industry they are going through a, a very tough phase of managing their capacity uh due to this reason as i have already discussed in my previous class that lot of theories are there to explain this variation in capacity bahut sare theoretical uh, uh, coverage hain जो एक्सपर्ट ने डेवलप किए हैं जिससे वो ये एक्सप्लेन करते हैं कि कैसे कैपेसिटी के प्लानिंग कैपेसिटी के इश्यूज को हैंडल किया जाए राइट एंड ड्यू टू दिस रीजन ड्यू टू दिस रीजन यू नो सेवरल थ्योरीज हैव बीन डेवलप्ड टू हैंडल द इशू ऑफ कैपेसिटी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर थ्योरी विच एक्सप्लेन द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कैपेसिटी एंड ऑल्सो द सोल्यूशन टू कैपेसिटी इज अ थ्योरी ऑफ कंस्ट्रेंट that is the fundamental theory which explain how can you overcome the the uh, the problems how can you overcome the hurdles in the path of capacity and that theory at time is known as theory of constraint or theory of bottleneck isko zara sa aap dekhiye ki theory of constraint aur theory of bottleneck kya hai acha isse pehle main aage badhu aur main aage aur theoretical aspect discuss karu anything which is not clear to you whatever i have discussed up till now any question from your side or anything that you would like to add in the discussion about capacity hmm bataye aap log kuch add karna chahte hain kuch puchna chahte hain kuch clarification hai yes i'm waiting for your questions i'm waiting for your queries i'm waiting anything that you would like to add on in the discussion so how should we learn for the uh, seasonal demand like uh, and sometimes we are uh, just like you told us that uh, we are having the peak demand so how should we uh, i think ready for that uh yes this is a very important capacity strategy we will discuss this thing in detail later part in the later part of the discussion but yes uh what uh, tawseef has asked is what is the strategy when the demand is at the highest level right uh, there are different strategies one of the very common strategy is hiring part time or contractual staff or rent taking on rent the facility of manufacturing or service provider let us take an example of uh, a hospital imagine a 150 bed multi specialty hospital and what would happen in case of a peak period of disease and pandemic what we have witnessed they have the capacity of 150 bed what what they do first of all they hire the part time employee in the form of doctor and paramedical staff and they also take extra building on rent they have not bought it all together they take it on rent so they hired a building a multi story building and they increase their number of bed from 150 to 250 so extra 100 beds are added temporarily hiring the extra staff and also taking the property or the multi story on rent this is one strategy of doing so same is true with manufacturing organization also that they hire part time employees labor right and they also have extra machine sometime what happen that they, they 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 take the help of their competitors like in manufacturing organization a very interesting fact is that for example foxwagon they have a sudden increase in their demand of the four wheeler foxwagon car so they take the help of uh, you know renault or they, they they hire the facilities of skoda motors in european countries uh, this is a very common trend that the company share the facility in the same facility escoda in the same facility renault and the same fa 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 facility uh, you know 
the uh, the uh, the Volkswagen cars are manufactured. So they share their equipment, they share their uh, devices and all. This is one common strategy that they adopt. Total Lame, I hope that uh, I'm giving the relevant example. Yes, sir, absolutely. And I saw that I saw that I saw that European countries are not here. This is Swedish or car maker companies. So there are common facilities. And we have seen, I myself, I tell you that I have seen in my summer training. When I went to do my summer training in uh, Honeywell, so I will tell you that building was Nietzsche floor to Hitachi. Kepasta. Hitachi ka pura office and puri manufacturing thi aur upar wala upar wala portion jo tha wo Honeywell ke paas tha aur aur bhi ek do companies ke paas and they have a common facilities they have a common manufacturing facilities they have a common office space they have a common cafeterias so that is how they share lamita kuch aur add karna chahiye kya isme nahi sir theek hai sir perfect hai so, uh, 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 so I, I would like to uh, uh, move ahead, giving you a brief idea about the theory of constraints. Shall I move ahead, please? Now? Shall I move ahead? Yes, sir. Okay. Sure, sir. But now discuss. Kari ye. Ye sab chizen dekhe. Aap jitna padoge, uh, aap jitna case studies aur ye sab chizen padoge, utna aap jo hai. Uh, आपको समझ में आएगा जैसे आज ही अगर किसी ने टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया या कोई न्यूज़पेपर देखा हो या आप ऑनलाइन या ऑफलाइन तो एक बहुत बड़ी न्यूज़ है ऑटोमोटिव और ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री से जानते हैं क्या न्यूज़ है चिप्स शॉर्टेज सर हम चिप्स सेमीकंडक्टर शॉर्टेज हां वो तो चल ही रही है सेमीकंडक्टर शॉर्टेज की वजह से डिमांड मीट नहीं कर पा रहे देयर इज अ शॉर्टेज एक और बहुत बड़ी न्यूज़ है देयर इज अनदर ऑटो जॉइंट व्हिच इज they have decided to leave India. Sir, Ford Motors. Ford Motors. Ford Motors. Ford Motors. Jo 95 in India mein operate kar raha tha. Lekin, wo apna kisi, due to some reason, they are unable to increase their market share. Itne bade market pie mein, unka share is 2% or 3% tha. Last year, sirf unho ne 48,000 units sold out kare hai, market mein. Jabke, aur companies aaya hai ke, Korean giant Kia, aur Chinese giant MG, they have occupied uh, a, a large share in mark, a, a large share in automobile industry. Like in, uh, due to some reason, Ford, which is a very known American company, hai, they were unable to leave their mark, and, and that is why they have decided to leave. So, why is it? Now, we have to know that there are capacity ke issues, or there are other issues. When we have to detail the report, we will know why we are doing this. We have to know that market India is going to be doing this. Is a huge market which is full of potential, especially in terms of automobile. Indian market, both body market. Hai. So, if somebody decides a company like Ford, which is the third or the fourth largest manufacturer of automobile in US, if they want to leave, so there would be some serious, you know, reasons and problems that they are facing. So, what reasons have you? When Choti si company, Kia, Choti in the sense, the Korean company like Kia or Chinese MG. के बारे में ये कहा जाता है कि they have picked the market very well जो हमारी established brand है Maruti और Hyundai और ये तो already they are doing good but the companies like Kia and MG they have attained a good market share so what what is the reason इसको इधर detail study करेंगे और फिर आप इसको थोड़ा discuss करिए आपस में भी और class में भी फिर आपको समझ में आएगा ये जो discussion चल रहा है ये कितना related है how far this is very practical and related to what is going on in the industry right now ठीक है Uh, sir. Yes, Dr. So now I will uh, ask my students to write their <coughs> attendance in the chat box. Please write your attendance in the chat box. Student, please write your attendance in the chat box. I hope this slide is visible to you, where uh, a very important theory, which is the theory of constraints, uh, is uh, there. The theory of constraint, before I 
talk about the technicality of this theory as the name itself give you an idea it tells you what are the major obstacle right in the path of capacity plan or in other word what are the major causes which create or which leads to low utilization or low efficiency of the system wo kya reasons hain jiski wajah se ye problem aati hai what are those reasons so the class is uh, scheduled till 10 mm-hmm. <coughs> theek hai to fir uh, aisa karte hain ke kyunki isme to detail thoda sa maine brief to bata hi diya ab inko next class mein batayenge ke what is this constraint all about and what is this bottleneck analysis uh, i think tomorrow we have a class yes sir tomorrow at 9:40 theek hai to main bas ye main cover kar lunga and then i will hand it over to you. uh and sir i will request students to kindly look into the reasons why ford is exiting the market ah, and yeah. automotive sector is quite a you know challenging sector today mm-hmm. and we have witnessed sir that general motors chevrolet has also exited the market in 2017 they have wrapped up all the manufacturing plants earlier it was uh, devu uh, harley davidson has also taken a back seat so they they need to understand the reasons why automotive sector some uh, companies are making uh you know uh, good good profit margins in the same uh, uh, automotive sector and some are not able to cope cope up with that so yeah. it, it will be an exercise for them they should understand what what might be the reasons definitely uh, okay from where do they get this detailed report i mean do they do they need to uh, go into yes, the detail in yes. any business newspaper sir, uh, there there are reports of bbc there are reports you know uh, uh-huh. white papers are there but, but you just need to search on google the reasons because sir general motors that at the time when they uh, you know planning to exit if i remember correctly uh, i read a report at bbc that they were planning to invest 1 billion dollars into india hmm. to shift their global uh, focus but somehow they moved to east africa and they avoided india and they packed up their manufacturing operations they will find everything on the reports just at least for their understanding that uh, how, why capacity planning is so much important why it is much important and everything is also dependent upon forecasting etc and etc they should relate all these things what they are learning that is my contention exactly the so students kindly go through it and uh, we will discuss it okay okay thank you very much to all of you thank you dr lame thank you sir thanks for the time okay thank you thank you sir